This woman, 23-year-old Candace Perro, is accused of strangling and suffocating her four-month-old daughter. Investigators say on the night of July 16th, a 911 call brought EMS to this East Orange Street apartment in Elizabethtown, Lancaster County for an unresponsive child. Angie Zellers, Perro's next-door neighbor, says she called 911 when she heard cries for help. When I finally came out, that's when I saw um, EMS running up and everything and um, found out, saw him carrying the baby out. Police say Perro told them she put the baby girl down, went to clean dishes for 10 to 15 minutes, then came back to find the girl unresponsive. A statement investigators say didn't add up. Police did some good investigation at the scene and found the few dishes that were in the home were dirty. And we have a dry sink, all indicators that she wasn't being truthful with that version of what happened. Police say Perro also made a troubling comment when they arrived. She was very distraught made statements to the effect of, I'm going to be blamed for this again. Lancaster County investigators say Perro's first child, a son, died about a year ago in Syracuse, New York, when he was three months old, a death that is still currently under investigation by New York authorities. Officials with the Lancaster County District Attorney's Office say the father of the girl, who is not being identified, is cooperating with their investigation. Authorities say a time card and a statement from the supervisor at the father's job led them to believe Perro was alone with the child at the time of the child's death. They wouldn't discuss a possible motive, but learned more about life at home from the father. She had struggled with this child before, uh, specifically when the child would cry or ha have fits. She, she struggled to handle it on her own and would sometimes even drive to the father's place of work, essentially wait in a vehicle for him to be able to come out and alleviate some of the, some of the stress. Zeller says there are a lot of mothers in their apartment complex. And if what investigators say is true, she wishes someone asked for help. As a mother, I can't explain it. I don't, I don't understand how somebody can do that to their baby.